This is a continuation of the video on the laser practice system for the two-gun rimfire project I'm working on. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the schematic in detail of this circuit here that I've prototyped. And in the past videos I've done, uh, I've shown how to convert a pistol to shoot a laser burst. And I did a video on how to make the diffuser target assembly. And then another video on how this, how, showing how the circuit here functions. And now I'm going to go into tales of the, the schematic itself in case someone's interested in uh, helping to develop it or has any uh, suggestions on how it might could be improved. Or if you're just interested to know, follow along and see how things are developed. But um, here we go now. Uh, this is the laser beam from the gun. And the schematic here shows a, there's, this is called an LDR. This is the target. It's inside the diffuser. And LDR stands for light dependent resistor. And it basically is a resistor that changes in value. And the one I've got here changes from about 2000 ohms dark condition to about 50 ohms in bright light conditions. And so I've kind of split the difference and I use a 1000 ohm resistor here, splitting that voltage. And so generally there's about maybe three volts on this pin two of this uh, op amp. And uh, I've got a potentiometer here that's able to adjust anywhere from ground all the way up to a supply voltage. And what you, what you want to do here is adjust the potentiometer. So the input on pin two, the negative input of the op amp, you want that to be about four tenths higher than the potential on uh, pin three. And that keeps, uh, and under that condition, the op amp has a low output here. But as soon as the, uh, the pin three voltage rises above pin two, then this output transitions to a, a almost a rail. It goes almost to six volts. And so what I'm doing is uh, when the light laser comes in and uh, changes this resistance, makes this pin three go higher than pin two, this output goes high. It causes these, these uh, LEDs to conduct. And there's actually three LEDs in a series here. Um, there's one here, one there, and then there's a third one that's inside the actual integrated circuit of, of PVG612. This is an optical coupled relay, power relay. And so they're all connected in series to ground. And they, so they all come on at once. Uh, but there's a, there's a feedback resistor here that uh, forms the latching part of the circuit. So as soon as the, uh, the PVG opto uh, relay becomes activated, the output here goes high and it feeds back into uh, this system here, this circuit, and it actually continues to keep those relays or these uh, LEDs conducting and it keeps this relay on. And even though this one may turn on and off, this one turns on and off dependent on the status of the uh, the sensor here, but this LED will be on latched. And there's also a bank of LEDs here on the output. And these are super bright green LEDs and they will be mounted inside the diffuser target. And they'll provide a visual feedback to the shooter on when they've struck the target so they can move on to the next target. And there's also on that output line that goes to the, that's the timing output that goes to the Arduino for the digital signal acquisition that'll give you the timing and uh, let you evaluate your performance of the of your practice and then the other there's just a six volts dc and a ground here and so that's a that's a basic uh, overview of uh, how the circuit works and it's very simple i think and i think it's very reliable and robust the way um, this is a very robust part it's capable of handling two amps and I tend to use them on a lot of things because uh, um, they're very simple and, uh, and tend to work for me. And so there's a few notes here. Hopefully you can read them. It's, I think basically I've gone over them. But if you have any suggestions on how to make this simpler or, or better, well, one thing I will point out, this LM324A, there's actually, in that chip, there's actually four op amps in that chip. I'm only using one channel of it here. So in that chip, I'll be able to drive four uh, targets. I'll just have to add four circuits like this, but um, and this. But the chip, I can uh, 
I can provide uh, sensing for four of the targets. So I'll only need at the most three of these chips to do the, uh, the work. And I'm going to put all this onto a PC board to, um, you know, once I get it, all the, uh, the parts uh, figured out like I want them. But if you have any suggestions, I'd uh, be interested to hear from you. Thank you.